Hey, this is Dave Santa for Midwest Outdoors, and today I'm in the Upper Mississippi River in North Central Minnesota with my very good friend, Mickey Johnson, who's a multi-species fly fishing guide. And we're gonna have a little contest today. We're gonna be fishing for smallmouths. Mickey's gonna be throwing a fly rod. I'll be using more conventional tackle, and we're gonna see the best man wins. And that'll be me. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Put me on some fish, boss. I will. There we go, Mickey. If the hooks stay in, that'll be number one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that's a decent one. Oh yeah, that's a chunk. Yeah, now I got a net it for you. He'll no, be a nice I'll, guy. I'll just, uh, I think he's got a lot of hooks in his face. Oh, so he's I got a lot of color too. I think I can just too. lift him in. There beautiful color. Yeah, beautiful, nice big bass. And this was on a propeller bait. And, an X prop, and this time of year in summer, there's a lot of insect hatches. And if you throw something that twitch, twitch, twitches on the surface and kind of sputters, and even though it looks like a fish, it kind of resembles an insect. So that's a nice typical Mississippi River smallmouth. You know, normally this time of year, a lot of people are calling August the dog days. And yeah, it's the dog days, all right. But for us, that signifies going to the surface because smallmouth are far more active in hotter, warmer water. And when we start seeing dragonflies that are these blue and red dragonflies, that indicates to us that we're going toward the surface because they're gonna start actively feeding. Not to interrupt you there, Mick, but while you were talking, I was fishing and Pat managed to pop another one. That's not a real giant, but there's, boy, there's oodles and oodles of those in the upper Mississippi. I'm glad I was able to bring that up for you. Yeah, he's getting the first cast and he's waking the fish up for me. Then they follow along behind and that's that's not a big fish. Mickey got me here in the weeds again. I know. <laughs> not a big fish, but it's one of many. We saw a little wake as he came yeah. up to take a look at it. Well, that's a decent one. Come on, baby. No, he's not hooked quite as well. He just grabbed it's the tail. It's a nice fish, though, and he's yeah. got one right underneath him. Oh, now if you had a jig on, you could throw it right there underneath him and catch the other one. I know. Pretty hard to do with a fly rod, though. Uh, now with a streamer. Uh, I've done it with a streamer before. Yeah, that's a nice bass. But I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'm going to Up constant. you come, baby. There we go. Well, right now, the scoreboard is a little bit lopsided, and... Boy, in I'll favor say. of the conventional tackle. However, there, we'll let put this guy back. <laughs> what we're noticing is that Mickey has a very high buoyancy foam fly, and it seems like the fish maybe aren't quite aggressive enough to suck it all the way down because it's like they're grabbing the tail and not getting the whole deal. So on our next drift, you're going to make a switch, aren't you, Mickey? Yep, I'm going to switch to a Dahlberg diver, which is a hair fly, but it's it's meant to dive down, but then also make that same sound in the water of that chugging. And I really like that. There you go. That's a good one. He That's just, a nice one. He just slowly sucked it in. One for the fly. Finally, I'm able to say I've got one on the board. And, and on the fly. it'll only get bigger. Dave, I'm coming to get you. Come and get it, Nick. <laughs> there you go. I got one. And one jumped behind us. Yep. And there's a couple of them there tucked into that rock wall. That's a nice little nice right one. Right where I kind of thought they'd be. He's putting the pressure on me, so I gotta 
produce a little bit here. There we go. That's another nice bass. And back you go. Come on, buddy. I got one. Ooh, double again, huh? Yep, this one's decent. Not a monster. Decent. Oh, you engulf yeah, that nice one. one. Come on. There we go. There's a nice one. Double header. This is the kind of fishing that you can expect to have on the Mississippi or in fact a lot of shallow rivers throughout the upper Midwest. If you come out here in the summertime, you throw topwaters or flies, and you're gonna catch some mighty nice smallmouth bass. Well, Mickey, I wanna thank you for a great day on the water, and it looks like today, the conventional tackle, one out over the fly fishing, tomorrow could be a different day. You never know until you get out there on the river. For everybody here at Midwest Outdoors, this is Dave Sanda. Stay tuned for more.